Hi everyone, it's Gail here with another craft with me. And first I want to say hi and hugs to Robin, Blanca, Jet, and Carolyn. And speaking of Carolyn, as I knock everything off of my shelf over here, speaking of Carolyn, she sent me a wonderful, wonderful um, heartfelt happy mail. So I wanted to share that first because I want to use it in some of the in some of the things we're doing here. Um, she sent me a wonderful letter and she knows, she knows what it says. <laughs> and um, just suffice to say, not my story to tell, but these are very, very special. And so um, she had made these, these uh, honeycomb shapes and thought I needed them for my bee journal, which I do. <laughs> And then she sent some um, some wonderful fabric. That's going to be fun to incorporate too. And then some bee stickers here. And then um, this one is more garden, but there is a little bee there too. So, so those may be fun to use too. So I'm going to put those with my um, ephemera stuff in the in the fabric as well. And all in a fun little coffee dyed sack. So thank you so much, Carolyn. I, as you know, that it, it all touched my heart. So I am keeping Carolyn's letter and this little um, honeycomb. I have my own bee journal. I have a bee journal that my friend um, Eve Spade made for me. And so I'm going to use this in... Um, tuck this in one of the pockets because it's got coffee dyed paper you could it's like a journal card but isn't that gorgeous um i'm i'm not exactly sure how it's made but i'm pretty sure this is fabric and then um it's maybe wrapped around a um what is that hexagon shape and then she put coffee dyed paper on the back it's just fabulous and it feels wonderful too so We'll be putting that, we'll be putting that in a pocket. And um, I think I'll just put the sack up here too. Okay, and then let's see. So catching, catching you up a little bit. Um, these wonderful envelopes came from Sue and Happy Mail. And I did take a minute and I decorated one. So I'll show you that. Um, I did that yesterday. I have this die cut and I kind of forgot I had it but look at this I unearthed these in my supplies and I have all sorts of them to play with I also apparently kept the insides so whether or not we could do something with those I thought maybe so anyway there's the front of the envelope there is the flap I realize this is not a bee it's a it's a bug but it kind of went <laughs> And yeah, I had this washi tape that had bugs. And so I thought that gave it a little something extra, but I see that I need to get that glued down a little bit better. So, so that catches you up on a few things. Let's see, we can set these aside. Um, and then, see, I had to washi tape that because I, inadvertently tore off the tore off the uh, uh, flap and so I needed to I needed to repair that so that's ready to go I found this in my stash um, this postcard I had um, that has it's more like wasps but it's it's bee related so we have that too to put in a pocket at some point okay and then this little piece of paper, this is some handmade paper that I purchased from Sarah at the Mushroom Market. And she had done a little video. I'm not quite finished watching it. I just watched the first part of it and then I started to fall asleep. She's got a very soothing voice. <laughs> and so anyway, I, um, but she had, she had made a little, uh, a little, uh, tablet and so um, she had put some paper in and I thought well I have purchased paper from her so I have that too and I stitched around it with that um, with that thread that is different colors so that's all ready to go 
And now um, what, what Sarah was doing was she was using her scrappy bits like this. And then, uh, I don't know if I have one that I can pop on there easily and show you, but, but anyway, she was, um, she was taking her, her bits and then, you know, putting, putting something in the middle that fit better than those do. <laughs> I mean, this one might, but well, no, too small. So anyway, I thought since this is my Artie Mays design team project, I would use one of Artie Mays's uh, little postcardy things that you get in the kit. And that one, that one worked. And then I was kind of looking at this one and I, I think I like this one better. So I think I might put that on there and put some, um, put some paper in the middle. I don't know that I have any coffee dyed paper without running around my room though. So, do I? Nope, I don't, I don't think I do. So not going to worry about that. But so anyway, uh, let's put that on. Let's do that. And we'll have one thing done. <laughs> already so um yeah so thank you everyone for your good wishes on my shoulder i you know i just don't know what's going on with it but we're gonna find out it actually feels a bit better today but oh boy have i been working on it i just you know been doing little things in my craft room nothing strenuous and I have been icing and heating and you know doing all the things stretching <laughs> all the things I know to do so um so yeah we'll find out on Monday but um I'm just I'm grateful that it's feeling better today I'll go with that now I just have to be careful not to overdo just because it feels better okay so I thought I had some coffee dyed paper do I not Oh, here's some. Here's some easy to grab coffee dyed paper. Yay. Okay. So we could we could just go ahead and finish up this piece, right? Anyway, let's see. So what else do I have to tell you? Um I'm going to use my little trimmer just because it's easier to put on the table when I have all this going on. Um I got it something done on my to-do list in the house today. <laughs> That's big news. That is really big news because, you know, I'm in my craft room more, more than I'm anywhere else. And so I'm wondering if going halfway this way is like perfect. Yeah. Okay. And this measures six inches. So we're going to want to go like... So let's see, five and a half would be half of a half of a coffee dyed sheet. Let's just do that. Um, anywho, I got something done in the house. <laughs> I have had my um upstairs desk. I have this little antique desk, um, you know, where the where the front of it goes like this and then it folds down and then there's little cubby holes. It's a little, little antique desk. I've had it for years and years. Um, well, that wasn't quite right. <laughs> That's right. We'll just snip this off. Um, anyway, it was kind of a mess because that was kind of my uh, what would you call it? My headquarters, I guess. Um, when I was taking care of all of my mom's estate sale stuff or estate sale, uh, estate stuff after she passed away. And that, that's been a year ago, Christmas. And so, you know, it's been over a year. All the tax stuff has been done. All that stuff has been done. So I'm like, okay, I think it's time to... Time to maybe just clean up that area. Let's see, how's that? Oh, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, I've had it on my to-do list literally since December. It is now um, well past 
or at least a little past halfway through February. <laughs> yeah, that's how I roll. And so um, I just had that on my to-do list. And today the sun was shining in on that desk and everything. And I was like, okay, I think today is the day. I'm not going to move my sewing machine, guys, because of my shoulder. But I'm just going to pop over here and super quick like run a seam down the, the center of that. I'll show you when I'm done. Got my string is trying to get itself in there. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling quite accomplished <laughs> because I just went through it and I made a stack of throwaway, a stack of my husband needs to look at it because it was his stuff. Um, and yeah, it feels good to have that done. Look how cute that is. So just did a little seam down the, the down the middle. And now I have a little eight page booklet and I think I'm going to leave the strings. I don't know why they're just making me happy down there. So I'm going to leave those, but I'm sort of feeling like I want a little something more on the front besides the card. So let us take a look in our tattered dream wonderfulness here. Um, I thought I had some lace from my friend Denise. Yes, I do. It's just in a different drawer. Okay. Let's see. I was wondering. Ooh, look at that. That might be fun. Just, I, I just want like a little snippet somewhere. I don't know that that shows up enough though. I don't want pink. I know that. Okay, what do we have in this little, this little happy envelope? Ooh, got some funness in there from a tattered dream. Oh, we've got, I've got a butterfly. Oh, this one. Yes, I love that one. Ooh, that's really cute. Okay, we're just going to take a snip of that. Do that, yeah. So, uh, you know, there's nothing like the sun shining in that gets me going, like on cleaning or something like that. More, you know, I, I, I need it to be sunny. If it's cloudy and gray, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> okay, it goes this way. And I think I'm just going to go right down this side, right there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. And I think I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. And we'll just give it a little kind of down the edge of this. Yeah, so, um, so did that this morning. My husband came in from shoveling yet more snow. We got more snow last night. Um, not a lot, maybe like maybe an inch, maybe a half an inch. I'm not, I'm not sure. Just a bit. And um, anyway, he came in and I'm like, I have a pile of stuff for you to go through just whenever. He's like, oh, I'll go through it now. <laughs> Most of it was garbage. You know, it's like some, that's what clutter is sometimes though, is just stuff you keep stacking and you just keep putting, and you know, the stuff at the bottom is like from 1992 or something. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay. So we got that done. That's cute. I'm happy with that. Yay. Um, you guys, I also found these. I'm not sure what to do with them, but look at how cute these are. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily have an idea yet as to what to do with that. 
The other thing, I found this little um, clothing tag that says Honey Pot. So I'm going to put that in my ephemera batch. Um, one of my Happy Meals had some bee things. So I decided I'd best, I'd just best make something out of those. So I have those. Um, the other thing I was thinking of doing is I've got still this paper that I messed up the I messed up the printing on and so I was thinking about doing one of my number 10 envelope type pockets and I think I have some number 10 envelopes right here I do so let's just do let's just do a simple one of those maybe for on one of the pages I just need lots of pockets to hold all these wonderful goodies So let's just do a simple one where it's just just covered with paper. I want that at the top. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, if I don't get a darn thing else done today besides crafting, <laughs> I check something off my to-do list. Yes, I did. Just feeling so good about that. I think my husband just shakes his head like, it's kind of like, what's different about today? <laughs> what did you decide today? Well, the sun was shining, that's what. Okay. Okay, so... I guess we'll just cut this. Part of me is thinking I would like to, I would kind of almost like to um, tear it, but that's right. I'm just going to cut it. So this might be re repetitive for some of you, but I thought I would talk about a little bit design team again because I've had some more questions about it and I think it's just it's just people new to junk journaling that just don't know and so a design team is when a digital artist like Artie Mays um, invites you to be on her design team and to showcase the digitals in her shop so, um, you know, maybe sometimes like, um, I did with Tracy Fox and love junk journals on Etsy recently. Um, I just, I just made some ephemera with some of her, her stuff or did some collaging. And so, you know, that's, that's one thing you can do is, um, is that and then you know but sometimes it's making a journal too um, and so with Artie Mays I always make a journal and what I like to do is combine Artie Mays and Denise at a tattered dream and Denise doesn't do the digitals but what she does are items items to use in in your creations, um, whether it be tags or cards or lace or fabric or um, papers, you know, she's just got a variety of a lot of things that we would use in our junk journals. So, um, so yeah, so that's basically it. You just, you do a project and you're, you're promoting their Etsy shop is what you're doing. And by and large, uh, what the uh, Etsy owner does for you then is um, provides the supplies to do your project. So, um, so they send you, they send you the kit, or Denise sends you some items and. Sometimes digital artists will do sort of a call out for design team members or 
and so if you're interested you know then you can you can respond or they'll just contact you and invite you to invite you to be their design team person okay where did, where'd my other mark go okay there's one right there <laughs> sheesh I can't see it that's what I get for having my mind somewhere else as I'm jabbering to you but um but yeah so so that's kind of that's kind of the scoop did I put it on this side what the heck where'd I put it okay well we'll just oh it's right there there it is was blending into the design of the paper. So that's what a design team project is. And um, I always talk about the journal that I'm working on, if it's a design team project, as a design team project, because I like to also, as I'm working on it, um, link, link below my video so that now, do I want to turn that that way and have the flowers? Yep, that's the way I want it. Um, so that, you know, if people are like, ooh, I really like those papers, they can go get them. You know, even before I'm done with the journal. So, so I hope um, the people that have asked me about Design Team that that, that, that helps. Kind of explain the process. Okay, that's really cute. I like it. Now I'm thinking, wouldn't you know, because my sewing machine's over on the side. Oh my gosh, my glue's getting goobered up. I need to I need to take off the metal cap and run it, get it under some hot hot water and get it get it fixed up sticking it's hard to get the pin in there we go um I'm thinking I'd like to sew around this so I will but I'm sorry I'll be off camera for a second once the once the shoulder gets fixed up we'll be back to that and I didn't want to have my sewing machine here because it so limits my space to work then so but you can certainly distress after you sew but it's just a little easier prior to sewing especially when you've got a pocket like this because I can just undo the undo it right now which would not be as easy to do once it's sewn <sighs> okay we're gonna sew that and then we're gonna figure out something for right there I think okay and I was so smart today. I'm out of bobbin thread on my last, when I sewed up that little booklet, but I had already done my, um, I had already done my redoing my bobbin. So I, I redid another bobbin. Where's my, um, so yeah. We're, we're set there. Oh, hubby's home from his walk. I can hear him walking around up there. Oh, gee. There we go. He's having trouble grabbing the thread. So I tried to figure out my automatic threader on my sewing machine today. To no avail. <laughs> I was not able to figure it out. I need to look at the book, I guess. I have no idea. Anyhow, it's uh, it would be handy. This thread that I'm using, this different colored thread, is um, it's thicker than than normal, and so it's kind of hard to. It's a little bit hard to um, thread through the needle, so that's why I thought, oh, maybe I could figure that out. Nah. <laughs> Really couldn't.
I'm going around all the edges. I'll show you when I when I get done here. And of course, you certainly don't have to sew. You can just glue that pocket shut, but I just like the little extra that it gives. There we go. So, but if you don't have a sewing machine, not to worry. I mean, you can, you can always adapt. So there it is. There it is sewn around. I don't know if you can even see, but I just like that little extra that it gives. But you could certainly have just glued here and here and had that pocket ready to go anyway. So, yeah. I might have an idea for those little fabric things. I was thinking about... We're going to have a card in the one thing. I'll show you. It's sort of like working on one piece and thinking about the other. <laughs> I'm just tying this just to make sure. And then I'm going to clip the threads here. Okay. I'm squirreling on you here, but squirrel. Where is this? The sack. So I have a pretty big thing there. I'm wondering if I could maybe, I don't know, use those on um, an index card for in there or something. The reason I got to that was I was thinking, am I going to put this on so it's pocket here or pocket here? I don't know. Okay, so let's look. I mean, really, I could use one of these cute little things from Carolyn right there. I don't know that I what I have that's small enough from Artie Mays, but let's pull out and just see. There's this, which is okay. Don't know if I'm love, love, loving it. And I do want to keep some of these cards from Artie Mays to tuck into pockets too. So let's use. Let's see what let's see what this little guy looks like on there. Seems like it's a good size. Dimensional stickers. Studio 18, these are called. That would be cute, wouldn't it? But I don't want the bumpy sticker on the back. Because I don't want it to be that dimensional. <laughs> um, so we're going to try and get it off. Oh yeah, it's going to peel right off. That's good. Perfect. That's peeling right off of there. Throw that away. Some of the crumbs up under my fingernail. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's bum this part's bumped up a little, but it's not bad. See, and I think that'll be cute right there. Okay. Let's do that. So it's Saturday, so this afternoon while I'm crafting, I can have college basketball on. Yay. Anybody else a college basketball fan out there? I love March. <laughs> I don't know if it's from working at a college for so many years or, or what, but I love it. I mean, when... When it's super exciting and the kids in the stands are going nuts and everything, it, it makes me cry <laughs> because it's just, it's just so, they're so joyful. And college age kids, and I probably am, have a little, have a little extra affinity because um, of working at the college for so many years, but it's such a great age. I mean, from 18 to 22, it's like they're just, they're on the precipice of greatness, you know? It's like, 
they're going to do wonderful things in this world and they're just right there, but they're still little kids in so many ways. <laughs> Even though they think they know it all, <laughs> they think they're totally grown up. They, they real, yeah, it's, um, might be kind of fun there. What do you think? Yeah, I kind of like that there. I think I want that to show more than that's going to show there. So I think I'm going to put that on as a side tuck there. That's what I think I'm going to do. But that I think that's where I'm going to put it is right there. I want to get this a little flatter while I glue that on. But um, but yeah, that's I think where we're going to put that. Uh, anyway, so uh, about this time of year on Saturday afternoons and sometimes on Sunday they'll have games too but Saturday afternoons I have on the college basketball it's it's probably a little weird because like most couples it's the husband yeah it's mostly me although my husband enjoys it too but he'll he'll want to be watching like the sweet 16 and when it gets to that and then to eight and then to four you know he'll watch all of that but um I like to watch it during the season so I get to know the players. Get to know who's who and how amazing they are and everything. Yeah, it's it's fun. I, I do love that age. It's fun now that my kids are, well, um, I've got two of them. I... Uh, I'll say in their 40s. My daughter would not appreciate that because she's 39. But, um, and then a couple that are mid-30s. But, um, you know, to have them that age and see what they've, what they've done, what they've accomplished with what they, you know, started learning in college. I mean, we never stop learning, do we? Okay, I'm liking that. It need oh, you know what it needs? And I think I have one. Let's see. Let me think. Uh, where is it? Um, let me grab something. I'm just grabbing my basket of ephemera here because I do believe I have something that'll work in there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I have lots of fun making ephemera. Can you tell? <laughs> okay, what? And look, I know exactly where it is. Oh, and it's my last one. So I like to take coffee dyed um, index cards and just put lace on various laces on them. Sometimes it's like from my snippet jar, just ones that are this this long. And then I have a bunch of them at the ready to to tuck in here and there. So. In this case, I am thinking, let's put this one in there because I think the black will be a really nice contrast. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we did that, didn't we? Okay, and what else? Oh, you know what else I was thinking of doing? And um, I don't think I have those, I have those in my not, not done yet ephemera pile. Um, is I was thinking of also doing some book page, um, maybe like the corners. Let's do some corners. I don't know what I have in here. Looks like I have a corner that goes this way and that way. Let's do those in here somewhere. I haven't done any like fabric or look how great that goes with that trim from my shop. Hmm. I could always change around the pages and or change this because this isn't attached, is it? Because I'm thinking I'm thinking a flip with that and with that would be fun. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm all over the place, aren't I? But I should figure that out before I put these corners on because then. Okay, 
Okay, so what if, what if we did, I, I don't know if that will fit on there. Yeah, these are the um, digital papers are a little bit shorter, so it makes it, that makes it hard. I want to see if I can find a place though, and maybe I can turn, uh, you know, move things around a little or something. I don't have two plain papers together is my problem. Okay, I can fix that. I'm just going to get a new, a new piece of coffee dyed paper and add it to. It's going to be a fatty McFast fat so <laughs> fatty McFat so journal here I think what happens okay so if I add that and if I put this here like that then I can put this as a flip here okay I like that Once again, I have, I have veered from my pockets, but that's okay. We'll get back to it. Okay. Thank you, Carolyn, for this bee material. It's so cute. They're so adorable. And I have a little, let me see. I have a couple of other fabrics here that I thought would go. This is the um, this is the fabric that is behind this on the cover. But what could we do here? I'm thinking maybe these little bees could hang down the side or something. I also know that I'm getting some, I'll be getting some bee stuff to show you here soon from um, Christy at Ooh La La Crafts. She was trying to get, get it to me before this, but I, as I told her, I said, well, this particular project is my A Tattered Dreams design team. So um, it's not gonna work for that, but um, I'll have it for another bee journal at some point, so that'll be awesome. Yeah, she's working on getting new things in her shop now, too. Let's kind of cut a little bit right there. I wonder, does that matter? I don't think so. Maybe stick those kind of there. And what I'm thinking is maybe doing a little ribbon of this at the top, sort of. Ah, boy, there's a bunch of strings on that one. Okay. So what, how about if that goes Kind of across like that and I saw something in my Denise stuff that I was thinking I might want to hang down from there is that kind of cute what do you think sure I have the right correct side boy sometimes on these things it's so hard to tell I think it's this way yep I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna do that while I have it all together if you don't mind I'm gonna take a quick second and sew across that Oops. 
my other lace back in here. Okay. Um, probably easiest just to sew it onto the page. So I'm just going to do that. Only take a quick sec. We're going to zigzag this time. I always zigzag when I put on my fabric flips. I don't know why. I guess I think it just gives it a little extra strength. All right, done and done. Oh man, I am just loving that different colored thread. That's really fun. Got that at a quilt shop in case you're wondering where I found that. I got it at a quilt shop. Okay, so let's see. This was here and this was here. Okay, that makes me happy. I really love that, the oranges there together. That's awesome. Yay, thank you, Carolyn. Okay, so we got that in there. <laughs> now, for the pockets. Okay, you know what I think I want to do is I want to grab some paper clips and clip the pages that I think I'll put lace on. I'm missing my, I'm missing my paper clips. Oh, there they are. But let's use these shiny ones and then I'll know these are, these blue ones don't belong in here. Um, so I want one towards the front. So I think we'll put lace on this page. And then we'll want one towards the middle or yeah towards the middle so put it on this page and then we'll want one kind of between the two <coughs> which could probably be could probably be this one I can I think I can get it on there so it won't cover that up okay talking to myself as much as talking to you on that one. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to put little paper clips on there so I know which pages. Oh, that one's already got a pocket. Okay, change of plans. It's going to be this one. <laughs> But that's why I usually put the lace on first, but I just got going on ephemera and because um, then I can I can put the ephemera on the pages that do not have lace. Okay, okay, we're good on this one. A couple more paper clips here. Ah! Fumbly fingers. Oh my good grief. Holy clucking chickens. That's <laughs> my friend Jenny would say. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was her that said that. Okay, shoot. This one's got that on there. Okay, well. Um, oh, but that. We won't worry about putting lace on that because that's going to have a index card and we'll put lace on the index card. How about that? Yep, that's, that's what we'll do. That's how we'll fix that. <laughs> okay, now we can determine where we can put these. <laughs> um, I need to do some... Um, inking to my printer pulled my papers in crooked and I have a little white on the edges that I don't want. Okay. 
Okay, I could put one there. I could, but we'll see. Ooh, maybe, maybe here. There would be a nice spot. That would be nice. Like that. Okay, let's just let's just put it on there. Oh, look, I got two. Don't need two. I kind of like that one. Okay. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I have one more that can go on something else. I love having stuff done up beforehand. I really do because it just makes, once you're decorating, then it just makes it go so much quicker because you've got pieces done up. Now, granted, I don't have any B pieces, but to have like these book pages, um, the pockets and corners made, then you can just, um, you can just decorate the top, you know. See, I think that's where this one's going to go. Yep, that's where that's going to go once we get her decorated. Okay, so do we want to just go on the other side? Let's just go on the other side on the, um, on the same yellow paper. I kind of like how these pockets dull down that yellow a little bit too. That's good. So... Right about there. Okay, I need to clip off just the tiniest bit of that. It's just going over the going over the edge a little bit. <laughs> Kinda like the journal maker. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let me get that back in. do need to clean that. There we go. I'm getting it. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's an afternoon job to get my glue ungooked. Okay, yay. How, how are we doing time-wise? Oh, shoot. Gosh, time flies when I'm hanging out with you guys. Okay, I need a sip of water. Water. That's for all of you that question what I have in my glass is water. Okay. So let's see. I mean, we've got tickets. We've got tickets we could play with there. Oh, I know what else I wanted to do. Squirrel again with those. Okay, let's do that first. <laughs> um, see these pages that are um, folded over. I was thinking I'd like to like to maybe put those on there. Look how fun that is with the same kind of design replicated. I like that. I don't even know that I need anything behind it. I don't think I do. I do think I'm going to go around it though because I think I might leave it as a tuck won't necessarily put anything in there, but you know, I like to have options for whoever has this journal in the end. So we could put it on like this and then there could be a tuck there. Let's do that. Okay. Just, I just get sidetracked, don't I? And actually, um, decorating the um, fronts of those pockets might take a little more humming, humming and hawing than we have time for. Might have to do that later or something. Okay, okay, I really like that. I mean, you could, I can put a couple tickets or a journaling card in there if I want to, but I like how it replicates that's cool okay so let's see what this side looks like because that is exactly what i wanted to do with these guys i when i folded the paper i thought ooh, i think there's two kind of bookmark size journaling cards in in the pack so 
Got a little. Okay. So I gotta figure out this one goes this way. Like that. It goes really nicely with that page too. Yeah, I'm super happy with those. I'm gonna make that a tuck too, just to have the option. I think I'm going to go for a walk with my husband after lunch today because the sun is out. It's so pretty. And I missed walking because my shoulder hurt even walking, which how sad is that? Um, <clears throat> but since it feels a little bit better today, I think I might be okay to, to go for a walk. Okay. Yep. I like that. It's real fun. We can add a little lace or something to that later if we want. Okay, for a minute, let's think through this. Okay, I need to get out where I need to get out what I have left here. Oh, there's a um uh, like a library pocket too in this that oh there's this cute one that's super cute that would be perfect that would be really perfect on there just have to decide what to put on the back of it oh and then there's this one which might be really nice on this other one like so well that was a lot easier than I thought as far as determining Try not to hum and haw too much, but you know, sometimes you have to. Okay, so I do want something behind that, whether it's cheesecloth or bee fabric. That's kind of cute. I don't know. I think it distracts from the actual piece too much is what I think. Okay. I need some coffee dye something. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I got my bucket of coffee dye here. So we can decide what we want. Ooh, that might be kind of fun there. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. Sorry if that's in the road. Is it blocking the view? Yeah, it shadows really bad, doesn't it? Okay, we'll just put it on the floor and I'll grab it again when we need to do the other side. I love this ticking. This is actually from Carolyn too. Carolyn, you're helping me so much with my bee journal. I'm just going to cut this because I don't know how well this is going to fray. It's a real thick, like, cotton duck material. And it doesn't matter if that hangs over because this isn't a flip. What do you think? I think I want it this way. Yeah, I like that. It's just subtle. I do. I like that a lot. Okay, we're going to get these two things done, and then I think we'll have a video. And then um, I think I'm also going to try and get um, a Happy Mail video. I got a big box of Happy Mail yesterday. Besides what I got from Carolyn, I got this other one. Can't even say who it's from because she only put her last name on the on the package so so I don't know I gotta look through and see if I find a card <laughs> that says what her name is okay um boy, I don't know I might have to do Fabri-Tac on that which the nails are trashed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, that's going to stick, but I think I'll use Fabri-Tac to adhere it to the pocket. Got 
got my new bottle of Fabri-Tac and I'm loving it. It just comes out like, like it's supposed to. It's awesome. Okay, I do like that. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. So I'm reading a new book, you guys, that I'm really enjoying. I'll have to look up the author's name, but the name of the book is The Orchardist. Orchardist? The Orchardist. Kind of a historical novel. And um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. Yeah, I like that too. So, um, yeah, I kind of, I've been taking your advice and reading before I fall asleep instead of looking at my iPad. I've been trying to get comments answered and that sort of thing prior to going, going to bed, which is a little different, a little different routine, but, um, but I've slept good the last couple nights when I've read instead of iPadded, so there you go. You guys are smart cookies. But now, like I don't have I don't have time to watch other people's videos then. That's when I used to watch other people's videos. So what I need to do is have them going in my craft room. But you know, normally <laughs> normally I'm chatting with you all, so I don't know. I don't know how I, I'll figure it out. Just gotta change up change up my routine a little bit but the book is good I do love to read I need to I do need to make it a priority because it's it makes me happy okay this is jaggedy up here and I love that okay so I really like those pockets what do you think yeah they're simple but but pretty yeah like those okay so now let's just try this for fun let's just put this guy in there yes yes how awesome is that with the honeycombs here and now Carolyn's honeycomb I love it thank you Carolyn yep there we go there we go. That one's all done. <laughs> and maybe over here we're going to do this. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I like it. I like it. Whoever gets this can cut these off if they bu if it bugs them, but I don't know for some reason it makes me happy. <laughs> okay. So it's starting to get chunky. I'll be taking all the tags and everything out when I sew in the signatures. But I think that was a good stroke of business for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, I'm thinking this can just loop over a page. She said squirrel again. I'm not sure how many empty pages I have. <laughs> I'm getting her filled up, aren't I? Oh yeah, like maybe... Like maybe here or something. Like that. That's really. I like that. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that there for now. Okay, everybody. I better stop now while, while we still have a day left. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And we will just see you in the next video. Bye-bye.